Everyone, so uh, now we're starting to move into the sub ledger. So we're going to start off with accounts receivable. Uh, so to set up accounts receivable, I just made a few notes here. We're going to start off just with making sure we have a debtors control main account. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up terms of payment, customer groups, posting profiles, and then accounts receivable parameters. So first of all, we want to make sure we got a debtors control main account. So we're going to go into general ledger. We're going to go under setup, chart of accounts, chart of accounts. And we're going to go look under our debtors. Well, basically assets. So if it's accounts receivable, you got to think we're receiving money. Therefore, it's an asset. So over here, we've got short term assets. We've got laptops. We've got phones. We've got drones. We've got furniture. We don't actually have anything to do with uh, debtors control. So I'm going to create a new one here. I'm going to call it three oh three zero two zero zero one and I'm going to call it debtors control uh, local and I'm going to call that an asset well main account type of asset there we go and there it is so we've got debtors control now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into the accounts receivable sub ledger and we're going to set up terms of payment so Accounts receivable, set up, payment, terms of payment. And we're gonna set up over here, and my favorite notation, standard, and for this we're gonna set up two weeks, so 14 days. And there you go. That's our terms of payment. Now we're gonna go to customer groups. I'm gonna set up customer groups. Oh, sorry. Expand this a bit. And we're gonna call this local customer. Well, let's just call it local. Then the description, local customers, terms of payment, standard, and default tax group. Um, oh, in that GST video, I didn't actually add, I actually didn't do it that well to be fair I should have had GST groups and a whole bunch of other stuff um, hmm. so sorry about that let's go in and do that now so GST GST groups uh, let's just create one here called GST GST and I'll go set up here and I'll just add the GST over there okay so now we set up a GST group so an account receivable we'll go through and we'll go back into customer groups and we'll just make the default tax group GST and there you go you can also say prices include GST um, but we'll leave it standard for now so that's our, G our customer group okay and we're gonna set up posting profile. So when I talk about posting profiles, posting profile is a kind of standard notation that Microsoft uses throughout. So what a posting profile can be summarized as is the mechanism by which the sub ledger pushes all financial transactions through to the general ledger. So when it looks at a transaction in AX from the sub ledger, it'll then query the posting profile to see what general ledger main account it should be utilizing. So we're gonna create one here, and we're gonna call it standard, standard, and we're gonna expand setup, and we're gonna do a very simple one over here, and instead of, t so what you can do here is you can actually set it up for a whole group of stuff. So if I chose group, I could then choose that local group and have it go to debtors control local. I could then add another one for another group, which was overseas vendors, and then have it go to debtors control overseas vendors. Uh, sorry, overseas customers. So that gives you a lot of flexibility. Since this is a very uh, simple example and will expand into more complex theory, I guess, at a later stage, let's just set it up for all at this stage. And that means every single vendor, or sorry, customer, will go to these accounts. So summary account, 
what we're gonna do is I think what was it it was not four it was three zero two wasn't it yeah that's the guy okay so interest code write off account we only should theoretically need the summary account I believe if I'm wrong we'll come back in and change that so that's our posting profile and now we can set up our accounts receivable parameters okay so we go mandatory tax group all of this stuff should be all right for now uh, let's just make sure we go into ledger and GST and over here we want to say post in under the posting profile choose this and that should be fun just to get us working uh, so that it works that, that we can start actually processing customer invoices um, okay so let's create an example customer just to make sure that everything's working so we go into customer we create a new customer okay record type is organization this is called the customers ALP the customer group is local terms of payment is standard GST group is GST we can't put ABNs yeah um, so you really want to start getting into the habit of putting ABNs on uh, this way what will happen is you can then that ABN will appear on the invoices all of your documentation relating to them so it's a good idea uh, but for for this example we won't so save and close and if I refresh this we've got our first customer loaded so that's the basic setup of accounts receivable uh, with the loading of our first customer yeah so I think that that that's perfect for a very basic setup uh, and I think we're good to go so yeah if you got any questions hit me up in the comments uh, if you want anything i uh, want me to expand upon any concepts yeah please let me know okay cheers